Some people think this COVID-19 is just like another flu. Is it true? The answer is no. As you all know, this COVID-19 started from Wuhan in China and spread it all over the world. As of today, more than 260,000 people have been affected with confirmed cases and this has resulted in more than 11,000 deaths across 183 countries and territories. When we compare this virus with MERS in 2012 and SARS in 2003, this virus has gone globally with high infectivity. So, we have to take action to prevent its spreading. We do get a cough and cold at different times. Not all of them are due to COVID-19. In fact, around 80% of COVID-19 patients are asymptomatic. When do you think that I might have COVID-19? The typical symptoms include high fever and continuous dry cough. And people often develop difficulty in breathing as well. If someone has a contact history or a recent travel history, and if you develop a cough and cold with difficulty in breathing, you should think about it. You don't need to get panic for a simple flu-like illness. If your symptoms get worse, or if you have continuous dry cough, or if you feel difficult in breathing, then you have to take medical advice. Otherwise, you can be at home, isolate yourself from other family members, take paracetamol for fever, and drink enough water to hydrate yourself, and then wait. If you go out at this point, even if you don't have coronavirus or COVID-19, you are at risk of getting it from somebody else outside. People are much worried about wearing masks these days. The only indication to wear a mask is if you are a patient infected with COVID-19 or if you are looking after a sick patient or if you are in the healthcare sector. Other than that, the normal public no need to wear a mask. An improperly worn mask can do harm than doing good. And for those who wear a mask, you should note that these are disposable masks and can be thrown away after you've worn. You can't use it again and again. As of now, we have no preventive vaccine or treatment for this COVID-19. The researchers are ongoing. The best method to control this disease is prevention. How do we prevent this? The people are talking about proper hand wash and hand sanitizers. Is it important? Yes. That is the only way that we can control the spreading of COVID-19. The hand wash is at most important to kill the virus. You can wash your hand for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. Alternatively, you can use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. The other important aspect of prevention is to avoid crowded places and to isolate yourself if you return from abroad or if you have any symptoms of flu. If it is really important to go out, make sure that you limit your exposures to others and keep a distance of at least one meter this one meter distance is important as these viruses cannot pass beyond one meter distance. The spread of virus occurs with droplets from respiration. So that is why we advise that you wash your hand, minimize the contacts and keep a distance. Approximately 80% of the infected people are asymptomatic. When these people are in contact, the others can get infected. Who are the vulnerable people? In your house, you might have your parents or grandparents who are elderly or someone with long-term medical illnesses such as diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease or lung disease or smokers who might have an underlying lung disease or pregnant women. When you go out, you might get the virus. You might not be symptomatic. When you come back home, you can give it to someone who is vulnerable, who has less immunity. So. Don't think that I'm okay and I'm not infected. You still can carry virus and give it to other people who are at home, who are innocent and have less immunity. Be wise. As of now, there's only one report in Hong Kong, a dog was infected with coronavirus, a COVID-19.
People often ask whether antibiotics can help. No, antibiotics do not act against viruses. So there is no indication that you use antibiotics when you have flu-like symptoms. These are the common prevention methods uh, for everyone. Regularly and thoroughly clean your hands with alcohol-based rub or wash your hands with soap and water. Maintain at least one meter distance between yourself or anyone who is coughing or sneezing. Avoid touching your eyes and nose and mouth. If you want to scratch your nose, use your elbows and not the hands. Most importantly, stay home if you feel unwell. And these days, I would say stay home even if you feel well, because if you go out, you are at risk of getting this virus. Especially if you are an elderly person or have diabetes, blood pressure, heart disease or lung disease, or if you are a smoker, you better be away from the others to prevent getting COVID-19 to yourself. You should know that COVID-19 is not a stigma. There's nothing wrong in it. If you have a contact or if you have returned from abroad, you have to tell to the healthcare officers when you visit a doctor. There's nothing to feel worry about it, nothing to feel shame about it. It is a virus and pandemic which is found across 183 countries and territories. So there's nothing to worry about it. Tell it, get it treated, avoid it getting to yourself. If you feel that you could be infected, it is your responsibility to keep it to yourself and not to give it to others especially the healthcare staff who works under immense pressure in this hard time. Mm -hmm.